Na het overleven van de, de pharmacy komen wij terug en is het aan ons om wat mensen beter te maken. Here, Olga. We managed to Kijk, find the we managed to find the meds. Oh, we moeten stil zijn. Oh, thank you, Emily. Little Vera's fever has made it so hard for her to sleep. I hope this does the trick. Ja, dat ook. Ook. We'll see. Her cough is it's very bad. When she wakes, I'll give her some of that medicine. Die But baby is ziek. Dat is een slecht teken, denk ik. Well, we're all really hoping that uh, where did this crib come from? Brian found it on one of the upper floors while you were away. Hmm. I'm sad we'll need to leave it behind eventually. It's not exactly portable. Okay, well, try and get some rest. I'm off to give Alex a hand. Okay, thank you. And to park too. I hope the medicine helps. Dat uh, hoop ik ook dat het medicijn helpt. Wat vinden we nog meer? Daar ligt iemand. That might send the wrong idea. Brian sleeps here. Tries hmm. to anyway. He hasn't been able to sleep lately. I should give him those pills I grabbed back at the drugstore. Ja, dat probeerde ik, maar daar kan ik niet uh, naartoe. Wat is dit? Is dat een foto? Martha, I miss you so much. Mom and Dad, Martha. Oké. Okay. Ik wil nog niet slapen. Wat is dit? I'd give anything for a hot shower right now, een douche. But no luck. Wat is dit? There's a boiler room back there. If we could just get this all out of the way. Ja, Oké, okay. ja, we hebben dat anti-gravity ding toch? Nee. Zo'n krantje. Leuk. Locked. Locked. Kistje kan ik niet in. T zetten. Oké. Okay. Kan ik haar nog helpen? Emily, shouldn't you be resting? I thought you wanted a nap. Ik wil helpen. Yeah, but need any help? I mean, I can see you've already got your hands full here. Oh no, that's all right. You've done more than enough already. I can handle it. Go and get some rest. Tell me, what do you think of this place? How are we doing? Here in the city's outskirts, there are hardly any robots. Plus, it's warm and dry. All in all, it's not too bad. All this place needs are a few repairs and some cleanup to make it a good, proper home. No, that can we all do, though. It's be hard on you moving from place to place. I mean. There's a whole city up there, and here we are underground, literally. I just miss having a place to call home. I know exactly what you mean. For years, Alex and I lived in this house my father-in-law gave us. Just a tiny old place, but we always worked hard to keep it in good shape. Nothing fancy, but it was cozy, and it was ours. That sounds lovely, Claire. Oh, but you should have mm -hmm. seen it when we first moved in. Cracks, mold, and spider webs everywhere. We actually considered selling it, but you know Alex. He insisted on fixing it up. And then, well, we got too attached to sell. I wish I could go back there. Misschien komen we daar nog een keer. Probably never see it again. Je weet nooit. Support. Don't worry, you'll see it again. I'm sure of it. Chat. Claire, this is a little forward, but. There's something I'd like to ask, if that's okay. What can you tell me about the others? Park and I haven't had much time to get to know everyone. Honestly? You man should look up 10 minutes and panic with that. Thing you don't already know. Alex is grouchy as hell. Take it from me. <laughs> But he's a hard worker and a devoted husband. Don't mind his thorns. He's a good guy deep down. He's just been through a lot. We all have, yeah. He kind of reminds me of my uncle Owen, actually. Only content when he had something to complain about. What about Olga? We found Olga in an abandoned house last winter. She was scared. Yes, the people are not really family, but they are all survivors who found each other. She later told us that the rest of her group had been captured. She'd managed to hide, but... But ended up pregnant and alone in such a cold, dangerous city. I can't even imagine what it took for her to survive. 
we brought her to our camp, gave her food and shelter, and she stayed. And then Vera was born. Raising a child these days is especially tough, but we're all one big family here. Open a village elder, wise and calm, and he really knows his way around electronics too. Alex shared a hospital room with him back before everything went to hell, and they became fast friends. A lot in common, those two. And I'm not just talking about surviving the incident. The I incident. I don't really know that much about Matthew. Between you and me, there's something about him I don't like. He obviously wants to be a leader, bosses everyone around, but he's short on brains and wisdom, which is probably why he's always butting heads with Alex. He followed some tracks into our camp a couple of months ago, and saw light coming from inside. Mm. Started snooping around and ended up scaring the hell out of us. Long story short, he decided to make himself at home. To be fair, he does his fair share for the group. He goes to the you uh, yourself, my you come alone. Food. Still, Matt's kind of weird. I try to stay away from him, and so should you. I've seen him holding his head, rubbing his temples with his fingers. Maybe that has something to do with why he's always so uh, charming. Ja, we hadden migraine pillen gevonden, toch? Good at making excuses for our men. I understand what made Alex the way he is. So I put up with his swearing and grumbling and the occasional mockery. Lang gesprek hoor. Zo, moet toch met iedereen praten. Ja. Ik wil alles weten. Klik? Nee, klik. I'm curious. Ja. How did you escape? During the incident, I mean. Not a pleasant memory. Alex rushed home from work on his lunch break, frantic, yelling at me to pack my things right away. I remember him telling me that the robot cops had gone crazy, just grabbing people off the streets for no reason. At first, I, I didn't believe him. The weird thing about Alex, he's really good at his job, but he's never really liked robots. He wouldn't let us get one of our own. Said it was because he knew too much about them. Honestly, I thought he was pulling some stupid prank, which was uh, unusual. I didn't really believe it until I saw it with my own eyes as we were driving. Yeah, the robot the opstand. You took an aero car? Weren't they all offline that day? Actually, we had an old school electric car. Rare, I know. But I'm afraid of flying and afraid of flying. Ja, als je dan halve meter boven de grond moet zweven, dat is niet te doen. Washed and painted like new. Wat een aanstellen zeg. We quickly grabbed a few things and then went to pick up Brian. I see. And then, why didn't you try to get out of the city? That was the plan. Die man zit nog steeds die ene pannenkoek te eten. And spares aren't exactly easy to find these days. And that's how we ended up here. So what about you? Not a lot to tell, really. I was headed out to grab some laundry when everything went black. And when I came to, there wasn't a soul in sight. When I got back to my place, my homebot was surprised to see me. He kept spouting nonsense, something about the war and humanity going extinct. Something was obviously wrong. With the robots, I mean. So I set out to find Marta on the other side of town. She's my sister. Did... did you find her? No. I like to think she saved herself, made it out somehow, but... Nee, we hebben nooit alles gehad. You and Alex, well, you're um you're probably wondering how I wound up married to a guy like him. Well, not exactly. I just no, a guy okay. like him. Believe it or not, Alex wasn't always quite so abrasive. 30 years ago, he was a completely different person. A robotics technician with a promising career. And I was just a country girl, really, and madly in love. Some mm. people just change, but either way, I'm not complaining. I made a promise to stay with him, for better or worse. So gaat het voor en tegenspoed. That's all I got. Thanks for the chat. All right. Ready okay. for some downtime. Get some rest. Actie. Heeft Park nog wat te melden? Park. Park. What's up, Em? How you doing? You look pleased. I am. Claire's pancakes are amazing. 
Just like the ones they used to serve in the university cafeteria. So good. Almost enough to make you forget you're hiding from killer robots. Come to think of it, why aren't you eating? Maybe later. My appetite's still playing catch up, I guess. Just leave some for me, okay? I'll try, but no promises. Okay. Hey, we should keep an eye out for a new tablet. Yours is like a hundred years old. Nah, I'm good. This tablet and I have been through a lot together. Plus, it reminds me of my dad. I used to mess around making music, working the counter at the store. Right. Sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. That's okay. The tablet might be old, but it does everything I need. The music editor is decent, and it's still great for movies, movies and books. Hold the charge for a few weeks. Too. In the toekomst, nog steeds movies and books, jongens. Um, don't answer that. So, how was your morning? Let's put it this way: telling the story is better than living it. That bad, huh? We have you well gered, Park. You mag ons wel bedanken. Don't remind me. Who knew the driver would take off so soon? It took us forever to get back home. Bedankt ons niet eens, Sid Park. Dat we hem zijn leven hebben gered. Bon appétit. Ja, thanks. Nou, waar Matt moet nog ergens zijn? Hier, hij zit hier. Wat hangt hier voor briefje? Kan ik daar naar kijken? Ja. Wake Brian for supper. Use soldering iron and accumulator. Give Matt holy hell for taking my tools. Note edit. I'm busy. What do you need? Alex, I found some painkillers at the drugstore. Maybe they could help you with your leg? Leg pain requires having a leg, Emily. It'd be idiotic to waste painkillers on a phantom limb. Oh, right. Sorry, I didn't... Knock it off, Alex. The girl's just trying to help. Fine, give him here. I'm sure someone can make use of him. Maybe Matt, after I put my only remaining foot up his ass. That's a bit of a quiet. I got a lot of work to do. Kan ik iets doen? Claire said you needed me for something. Yeah, maybe you can help me. My damn stump's been aching ever since I woke up. It's driving me nuts, sucking the strength right out of me. Here, use this thing to open the drawer by the kitchen and bring me the decoder. Okay, what does it look like? Well, it's a electronic thing. An electronic thing of a jig. Go on now. Uh. Deze. Kijk. Oh, dit ziet er wel elektronisch uit, ja. Laten we dat maar meenemen dan voor hem. Yep, stop in je broekzak. Decoder. Ik heb hem voor je, Matt. Of nee, dit is niet Matt, dit is die andere doet. Alex. Ja. Hang on a sec. Help me out. Come on, give me a hand. Yeah, well, naturally, connecting the encrypted memory cells on this old thing is going to take some trial and error. What? Ah, such a pain dealing with you dilettantes. Look, you got an eye for design, right? Just arrange the pixels so that the various colors aren't repeated, horizontally or vertically. You got me? I'll try. The colors aren't repeated. Uh, it is a sort of Sudoku. Dus ik moet gewoon allemaal verschillende kleuren in een rijtje doen en daarna moet ik het uh, afwisselen. You got this. I'm impressed. Nou, we zijn er nog niet, hè, Alex. Wow. Not bad. Even kijken. In dit rijtje heb ik twee keer blauw. Wat ik hier nog mis is geel. Oké, okay, fine. Dan heb ik hier in dit rijtje twee keer paars. En wat ik in dit rijtje mis is rood. Wow. Not bad. Dan heb ik in dit rijtje twee keer blauw en twee keer lichtblauw. Oh, wat ik mis is groen. Die heb ik al daar. Uh, en wat ik mis is groen en geel mis ik. Oké, okay, fijn. Nu heb ik alle rijen van boven naar beneden kloppend. Nu moet ik ze van links naar rechts nog kloppend maken. Ik heb hier in deze rij twee keer donkerblauw. En ik mis daar nog uh, paars. Dus paars en donkerblauw omwisselen. In deze heb ik twee keer geel, twee keer paars. Dat is allemaal dubbelop. 
Ja, alles is dubbel op nu. Uh, ik moet alleen van links naar rechts wisselen, want die rijen die kloppen. Uh, nee, dat is niet waar. Ik moet alleen van boven naar beneden wisselen. Hier zit nog geen rood in die rij. En ook niet in de onderste rij. Uh, en er zit nog geen rood in deze rij. Welke kleur is dubbel? Hier is een rood dubbel, dus die kan ik wisselen. Ik kan alleen wisselen met paars. Paars zit nog niet in rij 3. Maak ik er even wat creatiefs van. Groen moet nog daarin. Groen moet nog daarin. Die moet nog daarin. Die moet nog daarin. Geel moet nog in de onderste rij. We komen er wel. Deze moeten we dan nog wisselen met... Um, Die met groen. Ja, dan zijn we er. Kijk, een soort Sudoku-achtige puzzel. Verder nog iets voor hem doen of niet? Just wanted to check in. Is your leg giving you any trouble? Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, I'm just peachy. Now why don't you go fawn over someone who needs it? I told you, I'm busy. Sorry, hoor. Have you seen Matt? What? Do I look like his chaperone? General Jackass hasn't returned yet. I told him there's a store we haven't checked just down the way, but he, of course, decided to go clear across the city. Not to mention, he left you two little brats at the drugstore hmm. alone. Matt is an eigenwijze man. When he gets back. Oh yeah, you'll see. Daar zijn we achter. All right, I'll leave you to it. Volgens mij heb ik dan nu alles gedaan wat ik kan doen. Hij slaapt. Ja, dan gaan we ook maar slapen. We kunnen nog tegen haar zeggen dat we die man geholpen hebben. Ik kan er boven lopen. Ja. Nee, we kunnen niks, niks nieuws zeggen. Dan gaan we maar slapen. Dan gaan we maar slapen. En dat doen wij in bed. Doorgaans. Have some sleep. Sleep tight, Emily. After a day like that, you deserve a little time for yourself. Slapen en op naar de volgende dag. Oh, wij dromen. Emily. Emily. Oh, leuke nachtmerries. Altijd goed. Ik kan maar één kant op. De deur verdwijnt. Oké, okay, ik kan nog steeds maar één kant op. Die deur gaat dan weer verdwijnen waarschijnlijk. Ja, dat dacht ik al. Dan gaat ook steeds verder weg en het wordt steeds donkerder. Wat is dit? De lucht verfrissen. Die stond in die kamer. Die lucht verfrissen stond in die kamer. Dit is een... Voor nuis, een stoel. We horen stemmen en we zien allemaal dingen verschijnen die in de kamer ook te vinden zijn. Tafel van Park met zijn tablet waar muziek op wordt afgespeeld. Een koelkast, denk ik. Een dode robot in een vuilnisbak. Dit is een levende robot. Die stond bij die ladder. Die is nu verdwenen. Do you remember the face of your father? Zei een stem. Een gevangenisblok. Waar allemaal armen uitkomen. Robotarmen, geen mensenarmen. Licht gaat uit, altijd goed. Daar wacht een robot op ons. Hij komt op ons afgerend. En hij verdwijnt. Wat een vreemde droom. We zijn weer in een donkere gang. 
de deur gaat open. Aren't we all dead already? Ja, dat is hopelijk niet. Dit zullen mijn ouders zijn. Die veranderen in robots. Emily, it's already noon. Wake up before you sleep the day away. Matthew's bringing lunch soon. En we worden weer wakker. Oké, okay, um, wait. I really slept for that long? Het is in één keer middag. En we zijn wakker. Ik stel voor dat we hier een checkpoint van maken. En dan in de volgende checkpoint de volgende dag gaan beleven. Bedank ik jullie voor het kijken naar dit deel. En dan zie ik jullie graag weer de volgende keer. Joejoe!